what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be another video talking about screen five and as you saw in the thumbnail i started talking about this over on twitter started sharing it with uh beyond the mask and shout out to uk because i know me and you have been working on this but i wanted to make this video to provide as much evidence as i could that points to skeet ulrich reprising his role of billy loomis in the upcoming screen five and for anyone who still wants to jump in the comment section about how can he be back if he's dead i mean go nuts there's plenty of creative ways you can bring an actor back after they've died to reprise a fictional character so the first thing first is this post from chad keith who we know was one of the first early people we saw breaking out the title would officially be scream and not scream five he shared this image over on his instagram page last year i think this was around august so like well before filming was starting to take place this i think was also happening around the time they were doing script readings and whatever else they were doing before prepping to go out and actually film them film the movie he put a caption it's super fun to be prepping this one and bringing it back for another ride he put ads or like tags for people at Paramount Picks, at Nev Campbell, at Courtney Cox Official, at David Arquette, at Skeet Ulrich. Hashtag Radio Silence Productions. Now, of course, could have been a mistake. Stuff happens by mistake. But they are working on Screen 5. Their page is actually now private, or at least it was private, I think, when this got posted. And they have been someone who kept their page private, to the best of my knowledge. Uh... And then the other thing that happened, of course, is that we know Marley Shelton did it as well when she had got officially announced to be returning to reprise her role as now Sheriff Judy Hicks. She put, yes, this happened or yes, this is happening. Super excited to reprise my role as Deputy Judy Hicks, which we know you're not the deputy anymore. <laughs> but Woodsboro is in trouble and Hicks is on the case. Can't wait to team with the amazing can't wait to reteam with the amazing Scream 5 OGs, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, Nev Campbell, and also excited to work with our new additions. She tagged all the new cast members. And then if you notice that at the bottom, she did it again. She tagged Skeet Ulrich. We all were honing in on this and saying, you know, she slipped up and then she quickly edited it. But just like with Heather Mazzarazzo, a lot of us were too quick. We started sharing it, started saying, oh, Skeet's back, Skeet's back. We started thinking that was a mistake. But again, like I just brought up in the last one, someone else who worked on the film made a quote unquote mistake, too. I don't believe those were mistakes. It, it was a mistake in the sense that, you know, you weren't supposed to put it. It was a mistake in the sense that you weren't supposed to put him there because he's supposed to be a surprise. So the other thing is this. Skeet Ulrich just recently had a interview where he said he hasn't seen a single Scream sequel. And I don't necessarily believe that, but, but he'll be watching the upcoming fifth film. Now, he shared this with people.com. And now, why why haven't you seen the other sequels? But now all of a sudden you're going to watch this one. And then again, that question stems from the other two images I've just now shown you where people who are working on this film have, quote unquote, mistakenly put his name there as if he's not actually a part of the project but again he's supposed to be a surprise at this point the other thing of course is that we already know the plot synopsis and things of how the inner inner workings of the narrative where the all the attacks have to do with connections to the original killers so somehow in some fashion somebody in this movie is going to be related to billy loomis because of all the other things that we've been seeing as a trend for the characters the new set of characters all have last names that have to do with old characters that have come and gone somebody that was tied to the original events that happened in 1996 with the original film with the original woodsboro killings so his comments about going out of his way to not watch any of the other films but now he's going to watch this one yeah i wonder why <laughs> then the last thing that we need to talk about is actually going to be regarding some on-set images from wilmington itself so this is melissa barrera who this was when she was on set filming screen five and in the background ju just pay attention to the background really quick there's that painting recently though around that same time or not recently but la late last year when they were working on filming out in north carolina 
the cast of the original film, I think Rose McGowan, Matthew Lillard, I think Jamie Kenney was a part of it. David Arquette, I believe, should have been a part of that as well. Courtney Cox, Nev Campbell, all got together and they were doing like little one-on-one -on -one sessions with paying fans to talk to them and just honor the honor the legacy of the original film and just meet people who had a passion for that film, fans of the of the film, and just meet and greet and talk to them and just share their or pay their respects to the fandom. And then that's that image of Melissa Barrera. Uh, the other interesting thing is this. This image is of Kyle Gowner, who we know will be playing the character of Vince, Vince Schneider now in Screen 5. Same painting. This, again, is, should be him on set of, of Screen 5. But at the top, there's Skeet Ulrich <laughs> with the same painting that you just saw in the room Melissa Barrera was in. And now the same painting that was clearly in the room that Kyle Gowner was in. So all three of them were in the same room, maybe not together, but all three of them must have been on set of Screen 5. What does this mean in regards to his capacity, Skeet Owers that being as far as like him being involved in it? Now, I do just want to say, of course, it is a possibility that he was just here to meet old friends. <laughs> But the thing about it is that's probably not the case, given what we know about the direction of the narrative and how it has to do with things being connected to the original killings. So as far as like Skeet Ulrich, of course, since he's dead, Billy Loomis is not going to be brought back from the dead. I would hope not. Somebody in the film is related to him in some capacity. There's some type of connection between him and somebody in the film. There's also a moment I just noticed in the recent TV spot that got leaked where Melissa Barrera's character, Sam, she sees Ghostface like for a split second. And it's like the way it cuts would almost kind of be as if it's a hallucination. And I would find it interesting if that was just clever editing to block out the actual surprise of when she actually lifts her face up from that water fountain and she sees a DH CGI'd Skeet Owens reprising his role as Billy Loomis briefly before she gets attacked by Ghostface in that hospital. Just something to think about. But basically, that is the evidence that I have supporting that Skeet Ulrich will be reprising his role as Billy Loomis in Screen 5 in some capacity. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. This doesn't, again, necessarily mean that he'll 100% be in the film, but this is about as much proof as you can get. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And again, let me know down in the comment section what you think about all this. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.